Hello viewers, welcome back. So this is part 16 of our series of session on Tally's release 3.0, where we are covering GST module or GST features. In this session, we will take a use case of certain exceptions while invoicing or while you are accounting GST, you will see that GST is not calculating. So we will understand in this video, what is the reason that GST does not auto calculate and what configuration you have to make sure that you are configuring properly so that you are going to use Tally's GST module properly. Let us go to Tally and explore these options to understand how we can eliminate these exceptions. Let us view the chart of account of this company. So I go to chart of account, then we go to ledgers and we have created three ledgers under duties and taxes, CGST, IGST and SGST. We have a customer ledger and when you go to other masters and when you select stock item, we have created two stock item for this company. Now let us start invoicing for a customer in this company. We are in the sales voucher, party name is customer. We'll select the sales ledger and the item we are selecting as say stock item A. So we are selling one number, the rate is 10,000. Enter and now we are going to select the tax ledger. So I'm going to select CGST, enter and tally will automatically calculate the tax amount. Next, I'm going to select SGST. So I'm going to select SGST, enter, and you will observe that the tax is not calculated. Why so? We have created SGST ledger, but then when the tax is calculating for CGST at 9%, why is it not calculating for SGST at 9%? Now, sometimes what happens that you will not know how to handle this situation. The user is going to now manually calculate and then put the amount. Let us see what happens when you manually manually calculate and put the amount. I enter 900. Obviously, SGST also is going to be 900. Enter. And when I'm now saving this voucher, we get this error message where it says the tax amount does not match the value calculated as per the set tax rate. Now, let's assume that we ignore this message and we save this voucher. Let us now go to the GST return form and see the impact of this transaction. So click on go to just type one, select GSTR one. And we will observe here that uncertain transaction one number it is showing here. That is the reason why this one entry that we have passed is not reflecting in the respective table of the form. So how do we handle this? Put your cursor on uncertain transaction and press enter. Tally is going to tell you the reason for uncertain transaction where it says there is this invalid or missing information. Tax ledger is not specified. So we come down here and press enter. And if you observe here, it says that we pass this entry, which is a intrastate outward supply, whereas CGST is at 900, but IGST 900 is getting calculated here. Or what is the reason? SGST is not calculated. So how do we identify the error? We can identify and correct the error right from this exception report itself. All we have to do is just press enter. We will go to the sales voucher. And now let us go to the SGST ledger. Though we have selected SGST ledger, but tally is calculated value as IGST. So let's go to the master alteration and check the configuration. So how do we go to the alteration of the master from the voucher? Just press control enter. It will take you to the ledger alteration screen. And if you notice here, the tax type, we have selected GST properly, but observe here, instead of selecting SGST or UTGST, we have probably selected in a hurry the first highlighted item, which is IGST. That is why we are seeing 900 rupees charged for IGST. So now we have to correct this. See, irrespective of what name you give here for these three types of tax ledger, it is very important for you to select the proper tax type for tally to calculate tax and represent them in the form in the respective field. So we come down here, select SGST and save this. We will accept the master and update the GST status, enter. And now if you see when I blank it out and press enter, tally will automatically calculate since we have now 
corrected the error in the master now we can save this and once you save this you will not get any error message and we will also see that the exception is vanished here just press escape escape once more and we will see now the value is getting captured under the table of b2b invoice since we have invoiced to a regular dealer let us take another use case where tally will not automatically calculate the tax so let's pass a fresh entry i'm selecting the customer sales ledger the item we are selecting the same item one number now this customer is a local customer so how do we make sure you can very simple click on the customer ledger master press control enter and we will observe here that the customer state is in karnataka and we have provided the gst of karnataka who is a regular dealer and the company is also registered in karnataka so which means basically it is an intrastate sales so now instead of selecting cgst and sgst let us say by mistake the user user selects igst press enter and you will observe that tally will not calculate tax since we are selecting the wrong type of tax so when you come back and select the correct tax type enter and you will observe that automatically tally is calculating the gst amount again by selecting sgst you will get the auto calculation happening so these are the two simple use case where we have to be very careful in making sure that we configure our tax ledger properly important aspect that we have to remember is that whenever you are using tally's gst module and when you are selecting the tax type tally has to automatically calculate the tax amount if it is not calculating the tax amount then you should revisit the master and check the configuration and ensure that you have configured them properly i hope the examples we covered will give you a clear idea of how the hierarchy and inheritance works in tally and what is the configuration that you have to keep in mind for proper gst compliance so thank you all once again for staying till the end see you all in the next session thank you very much